Let's start here with the web address of anything online that you want to embed on a discussion post. All you need is the link or the web address, also known as the URL or Uniform Resource Locator. First, put brackets and quotation marks around the URL. The brackets are the second and third keys in the right on most keyboards on the second row, just up and to the left of the right return key. The quotation marks are the double ones that you find one key to the left of the right return key on most computers. You have to hold down the shift when you hit this key. Next, go inside the first bracket and type the word iframe, I-F-R-A-M-E. Put it all in lowercase. Then hit the spacebar and type the HTML abbreviation for the word source, S-R-C. Notice the vowels are removed. Also add an equal sign. This is in the top right on most keyboards. Notice that there is only one space between the brackets so far, the one between the word iframe and the abbreviation SRC, although a line break might appear, but don't worry about that. With these three steps, you are telling a computer, create an iframe, a box, on this page, and fill it with the source, SRC, that is this URL, Uniform Resource Locator. Do you see how this is sort of like a sentence in English and also like a formula in mathematics? You are almost done. All you have to do now is to tell the computer how big to make the box or iframe. The default for this WordPress plugin on Youth Voices is to make an iframe go 100% of the width of any web page. But you will need to add a height that will show everything that you want to show. For surveys that use Google Forms, for example, you'll need a height of somewhere between 1500 and 2500 pixels, depending on how long your survey is. You can choose 1500 and see if that is enough, then add more to make it longer. Add this code just to the left of the right bracket. Height equals quotation mark 1500 quotation mark. Notice that you need quotation marks around the number and that you need an equal sign between the word height and the quoted number. Also note that you need a space between the URL or web address and the word height. This is your second space between the brackets. Hit Update or Publish, then go to the post to see your work. Now let's look at an alternative way to embed things, like a Scratch project or something similar, a VoiceThread, for example, that might have multiple embed parameters. Copy the embed code from your Scratch project or from another online content. Edit a Youth Voices discussion post and paste your Scratch or other code in the visual mode. It will look something like this. Notice um, allow transparency, width, height, um, auto start, frame border, lots of things that uh, you could just add in yourself, but they're there already for you. Now you have to replace the angle brackets with square parentheses or brackets and get rid of the closing bracket slash iframes bracket. It should look like this. Um, notice the square bracket, and then all the information for the embed. And then at the end, there's just another square bracket and the 
slash iframe closing is gone. You won't see the embed until you publish your update, then it will embed for you.